Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about this report that Pete Vostelica is stepping down as the Overwatch League Commissioner and moving on to a different position within Activision Blizzard. This video will probably be somewhat short but I just wanted to talk about this story because it was just breaking yesterday and I wanted to give my thoughts on it. So this article comes from the Esports Observer. I believe they are the ones who broke this story. I could be wrong, but I believe they are the ones who broke this story. As they say here, Pete Vostelica, who became the commissioner of Activision Blizzard's Overwatch League after the abrupt departure of former Overwatch League commissioner Nate Nanzer in May of 2019, will step down as commissioner. Vostelica, who is also serves uh, as president and CEO of Activision Blizzard Esports, was appointed the role when Nanzer announced he would leave for a position at Epic Games. Several sources close to the situation have confirmed with the Esports Observer that Lacelica has in fact stepped down, but did not elaborate further. An Activision Blizzard spokesperson provided the following statement, quote, Pete Lacelica, CEO of Activision Blizzard Esports and Commissioner of the Overwatch League, will transition from his role in Activision Blizzard Esports to focus on new entrepreneurial ventures on behalf of Activision Blizzard, following the Overwatch League Grand Finals. He was instrumental in building the company's esports business and driving the industry forward, and we thank Pete for his contributions and impact on our business over the last four years. End quote. As Commissioner of Lestelica would eventually inherit a league beset by problems associated with COVID-19, ultimately halting all in-person events in 2020. Live events were canceled as well as homestand competitions that were being counted on, counted upon in regard to growing the potential revenue, sponsorship opportunities, and fan base of the teams and the league. This final sentence is a bit uh, interesting. Teams would feel the financial brunt of the pandemic with some organizations cutting entire rosters and high-salaried players in order to sign the less expensive and less experienced players. Now this sentence, somewhat separate from the story, I have an issue with. And the main reason why I have an issue with this sentence is this really, from things that, and I could be wrong about this, but to my understanding, these thing, this, this isn't really true. Um, yes, there was an organization that cut an entire roster, being the Vancouver Titans, but all reports on the situation... Uh, state that it has nothing to do with um, money or a financial brunt from the pandemic. It was uh, primarily just a, we don't want these players anymore because we don't want to have a Korean roster. Um, so it really had little to do with COVID-19. And it was more like, we have an excuse to get rid of these players because of COVID, as opposed to, we want to get rid of these players specifically because we can't afford to manage this team any longer through covid so was it kind of a financial brunt yes but it was more of a we want to get rid of them anyway type of thing um and then high salaried players in order to sign less expensive and less experienced players i don't know where that happened at all um like decay was released and oni god was signed but decay was released after oni god uh was released and in the press release about decay's release um <laughs> the team literally said uh, that they were getting rid of him because he was not a cooperative teammate or whatever. And then, I mean, yes, you have players like Corey and Sinatra who left, who were definitely high salaried players, but they didn't leave because of COVID. They left because they wanted to go play Valorant. So this to me is a, a, a sentence that's really questionable and I have an issue with it, just somewhat separate to the situation at hand. So I just wanted to give you my thoughts on that. But Back to the story at hand, Pete Vostelica, his resignation, or his move to a different position, what does it mean for the Overwatch League, and what do I think is the step for the future? I was not Pete Vostelica's biggest fan when he came in. Um, I don't have an issue with him necessarily, it's more that he is not a traditional esports uh, individual. His background, to my knowledge, is in... Um, more traditional sports media. Um, I don't believe that his background is anything esports related. I believe he worked for like Comcast or something, like Comcast Spectator maybe, um, which is ironically the group that owns the uh, 
Philadelphia Fusion, but Pete Vostelico was never really meant to be the commissioner of the Overwatch League. He became the commissioner of the Overwatch League because Nate Nanzer stepped down. Um, oh, Fox Sports is where he was. He was at Fox Sports. So he, he comes from like a traditional sports background um, coming from Fox Sports. So you have Pete Vostelico who took over because of Nate and Andrew's resignation and move over to Epic Games. And I think at the time it was just the type of thing where they needed somebody to become commissioner quickly. And then I think he just stayed in the position maybe just to see them through 2020 because 2020 was a very important year. And so he wanted to stick around to see them through what would have been the first year of homestands, which we did get some homestands, not many, but some. And what would have been uh, the first year for um a lot of travel internationally so it's unfortunate to see that that didn't happen but i think that pete probably brought them to the position that they needed to be for a new commissioner to come in now i personally uh hope that john specter becomes the next uh commissioner this is a sentiment that nate nanzer also uh shares when he said you know nobody and i mean nobody has worked harder than John Spector on the Overwatch League. He deserves it. He's your guy. And I 100% agree. Um, John was the public face of the Overwatch League all of 2020. We didn't see Pete Vostelica come out very often, if at all. So I think that it would be great if John Spector was the next commissioner. I think he would be a great choice. He's in the Overwatch League already. He's someone internally, so he has the knowledge and experience with the overwatch league teams in general and the overwatch league like team itself you know like the the organization that manages the overwatch league and he's you know been within activision blizzard esports so he knows that and of course he because of that is a an industry professional someone who has experience in the industry and i think that when you are the person who has been kind of the public face for the league all year I think people turn to you eventually anyway. Um, so it just seems to me like he is the best option and he's the best fit. And I would love to see John Spector as the next commissioner. Uh, I'm curious if anyone else out there has any other names um, of people they think could be an interesting uh, commissioner choice. I think that the best option is for it to be someone who is prominent in esports, someone who is known for esports. Um, I think that's kind of where they should go. I know that a lot of people within Activision Blizzard Esports want the Overwatch League to move to be more like a traditional sports league, but I think that it's best for the league if they have esports professionals run, running and managing the league. Nate Nanzer was with MLG, so he is somebody who was an esports professional, and I think that the best thing that the league can do is look towards esports professionals, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that, any of this. Uh, let me know how you feel about this situation in the comments down below, but that is all for me. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing for more content like this in the future. I uh, hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy, um, but that's all for me. So until next time, bye bye.